This is the HP TouchSmart IQ770. It's a touchscreen PC, has a stylus that goes in the top, comes out and you poke at the screen with it for a bit. But that's not why I'm here. This is why I'm here. This is the graphics card. The NVIDIA GO 7600 graphics card. It is a piece of rubbish because it is cooked. It's a common fault with these PCs. They have a tendency to cook the graphics cards. Not just cook them. Look how black those chips are. Absolutely roasted. Completely charcoal. So what I'm doing now, I'm just showing you all the model numbers so you know what to buy. Got the HP pin and some random serial numbers. So yeah, I obviously have to tell you how to get into it, as it is horrible to get into. So first bit, you take some screws off the bottom, and the side, and the back, and then it opens. Hoorah! Now the next bit, it's slightly less obvious, but now you can sort of see inside. You can't see the graphics card yet, but you can see the CPU and the RAM and everything. But what we're going to do, you need to lift the monitor out, and then there's a bit in here, just click it, and then the back falls off. Simple as that. And here we go. Any second now. There we go. Saw it move, and then you just pull it off. Simple as that. Revealing the hard drive. And some random cables that lead from the graphics card. Which is annoying. So yeah, you got the power supply and all sorts around there. Now this front bit, this top black bit comes off. That's not an issue. The next part is the issue. But I'll get to that in a minute. So I'm just going to show you from a different angle. Just simple as. Take the back off. Easy as that. Nothing really special on it. And you put your hand around the front after lifting the monitor up and tilting it up. Hand in there. Click. And it comes off. Simple as that. It goes to your thumb. And here's how it works. That's it moving. You have a series of whole clips which is fun. Now this next bit. You can see the bit, it's not in the right place, I'll admit, but literally I had to surprise it out with a knife. Simple as that. So yeah, prize it out with a knife and you've got it free. Yeah. It's not easy, it feels like you're going to break it, but trust me that plastic is a piece of tough plastic. Now next bit, you peel off a sticker revealing some screws, which is fun. So get them undone. And don't break it like I almost did then. So this is right in the bit that folds out, the uh, media bay, you might call it. So yeah, then you lift that out, it was two, I've taken one out already. So yeah, when you take this out, make sure you're taking the optical drive out first, that was around the other side. This reveals the graphics card, hurrah! These clips are a bit fiddly, but you literally put some pliers underneath, and that, and done. Then pull the graphics card out, it's just like a PC expansion slot. Except, I noticed something key. It isn't really a PC, it's more of a laptop. Which you might argue is a PC, but hey. It's not a desktop computer, it's essentially a laptop disguised as a desktop. So yeah. A bit fiddly, but it's dead anyway, so just get it out. Don't damage the port, but get it out. So there we go. The NVIDIA GO 7600. Charcoal. So yeah, just match the serial numbers to the ones you want to buy, and you get a new graphics card. Cost you about £100. But this computer was probably over a grand or so. But yeah, that's where it was, just went straight in that slot. So yeah, when you got the new graphics card, here's some advice for you. Cover it in heat paste and the whole heat assembly thing. Because it will burn out again if you don't. Now I haven't got the new graphics card yet, but I'm just showing you how to put it back in. Okay, you might have to be a bit more gentle than I am, but it does go in. Just get it under that. It does bend a bit, you've got quite a leeway with that, it's fine. Just get it back in the slot and away from the wires. And in it goes. Almost. <laughs> get in there, and it's in. That, and then you press the pins down and they go in through it. So, what if you want to spot some more stuff out? I'm going to show you where everything is in this laptop disguised as a desktop. So yeah, here is the first one, which is the hard drive. This is a 3.5-inch SATA drive. So you can have as many terabytes as you want. It's SATA 2, so don't exceed the speed. And yeah, simple as, just fit behind that grill. You also fit the RAM, just normal laptop memory. Folds out. You got the CPU under there, it's socket S. And the cooling device, which I advise you cover in heatsink paste, doesn't really work very well. And of course you swap out the graphics card. But the power supply looks pretty specialised. And of course you've got the optical drive, which is a DVD writer. But you may want to upgrade it to a Blu-ray. So don't forget to subscribe. And it's brought to you by the cat on the bag. 
Here is the cat on the bag. Yeah. So yeah, Facebook, Folding at Home, Twitter, I've got them all, so make sure you like, follow, and join my team. And now, the Facebook is, has a link on my channel, so make sure you go visit. I'll put a link here. And you can email me if you really want to.